So welcome all the visitors. If we, uh, while we call the roll, can we please just check our personal electronic devices and put them on off or silent as we take the roll. Marianne, can you take the roll? Here. 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 Uh, seeing that we have a quorum, our first order of business is a public hearing on the 2015 tax levy. A quorum being present, the first order of business is to hold a public hearing on the 2015 tax levy. Due, no due notice has been given of the public hearing on the 2015 tax levy and all other statutory requirements preliminary to holding of such public hearing has been complied with. The proposed tax levy was presented at the November board meeting. Mr. McGinnis and Dr. Skinkas will present and explain the 2015 levy and answer any questions from the board. Dr. Skinkas and Mr. McGinnis. Tim and I presented the first draft, of the first read of the levy back in November. We did receive a few general questions. Uh, from board members, so I'll let Tim address those now. Tim, if you want to go ahead and introduce the levy again and also address any questions. Yeah, the, the tax levy each year is limited to uh, the consumer price index from the previous year, or 5%, whichever is lower. Uh, the, the consumer price index number for 2014 was 0.8%, so that's really the limit that we have. Uh, what most districts do, what we've done over the past few years, is you increase the levy uh, to closer to 5% just to cover uh, any new property that comes on the books. We won't know those numbers until next June and July when the county sends them out. So we put through a levy at 4.95% for the operating funds and what the county will do when they get those numbers for the new property is they reduce the levy to the maximum that's allowable for us. Uh, the only other change in the levy is that our debt service levy did increase some um, due to the, the issuance of the life safety bonds. One of the other things we've done in this levy is, is, is try to address the, 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 uh, the problems that we have in the transportation fund. Obviously, our special education transportation is increasing significantly, and the reimbursements from the state are not keeping up with it. Uh, that, that fund continues to go into a negative balance, and we have to loan money from the working cash fund into that. So what I've done with this levy is I've added $300,000 to the transportation fund levy, and taking that money out of the education fund or the education fund levy and the operations fund levy um, but again it doesn't impact the fact that that in the end we're going to receive a 0.8 percent increase plus any taxes on any new property um, there was a question regarding um, the fact that district 103 is, is going up by significantly more than that and there's a lot of factors that can go into that. One is that in, in prior years, if they didn't levy their maximum and effectively left money on the table, they can go back and look at uh, the levies that they had in prior years and, and possibly increase by more than the CPI. Uh, they may also be having a situation where they're, they're limiting rates, there's limiting rates in each fund, where they're up against those limiting rates as your EAVs come down, uh, you get closer and closer to those limiting rates. Uh, school districts that come up against those limiting rates and can't increase their levy, for example, in the education fund, put more money into, for example, a transportation fund. Um, in our case, we're not even close to the limiting rates that we have. So that's not a factor. We've always levied the maximum amount that we could. Uh, we've never left any money on the table. So I think s some of the situations that they have there aren't really applicable here. Any other questions from the board? Seeing none, the meeting will now be open for public discussion and all persons desiring to be heard will be heard at this time. The Board of Education welcomes and encourages the participation of its citizens in the business of the school district. Thank you for your attendance. Citizens are welcome to ask questions or make comments. Comments will be limited to three minutes. If a person would like additional time to address the board, such a request should be submitted in writing 48 hours before the meeting to the superintendent. For details, please refer to board policy 2 colon 230, public participation at Board of Education meetings and petitions to the board. This particular visitor's comment section that's out now open right now is just pertaining to the tax levy. So is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak on that issue? Seeing none, 
Uh, seeing that there are no further comments from the public, I now declare the public hearing for the 2015 tax levy completed and the regular meeting will now proceed.